are they? The foreign investors. How easy is to do business in Kazakhstan? What investment projects are being implemented? What areas of Kazakhstan's economy are attractive for investment? Watch business opportunities on Kazakh TV and meet successful foreign investors working in Kazakhstan. In recent years, Kazakhstan is implementing a state program of infrastructural development knowledge all. New roads are built across the country, accelerating the movement of commodity flows from every direction. This increases the transit potential of the country and ensures a reliable supply chain. A network of transport and logistics centers where goods are arranged to be shipped to final users, the customers, is under development. The domestic investor company Continental Logistics has been established within the framework of public-private partnership by the Katage Katiz by the Kazakh Temerjoli Express has started the construction of two A-class transport and logistics centers located in Astana and Shimkent. The center has been already commissioned and soon their capacities will be expanded. So, welcome to uh, Continental Logistics. So, uh, we are approximately 5 km far from the city, 10-15 minutes from the city center by Terek. So, let's come into the warehouse, the office first, and after that we can show you the warehouse. So, uh, that's our office, we start to work now, it's, uh, and then we have some things very urgent to make together with the our uh, warehouse manager. As well, like, let's, let's finish this. The office of the company, which is engaged in the Astana Logistics Center's operations, is always busy. The flow of goods is growing, as well as the number of business partners, many of whom prefer to place their, their offices directly on the premises. Let's go to look for the warehouse and the container yard and what we have, what we are making. It looks good. We have our offices and uh, we have some client offices also here. We have so many international clients, McDonald's, uh, Starbucks, Metro, Cash and Carry, and so many of the others. And then uh, we have a, a distributor of Coca-Cola here. So I want to uh, introduce them to you. So Aneco is our, uh, one of the most important clients. We moved from the B-class warehouse to the A-class warehouse six months ago. We are satisfied with everything. Shipment is always timely. Transport and Logistics Center for Storage, Processing and Shipment of Industrial and Food Consumer Goods has several warehouses and terminals for different types of products. Now we will be in the climatic warehouse. This is, of course, it's cold. Be careful. This is the uh, preparation and the loading area. We have 24 uh, doors and docks. These docks uh, can work with the minus 60 Celsius grad degree. Asulbek is the uh, warehouse manager and then he can say about the warehouse now. We are now in the climatic warehouse where vegetable products and products with a plus-minus mode are stored. At this stage, the storekeeper inspects, recalculates the goods and then begins loading the goods into a vehicle where the forwarder supervises. Further, the items are transported to the shops. The advantage of our warehouse is that we have 24 docks on the stock which are fully automated, which allows all types of cars to park, a minivan, a lorry. We also have a dock leveler which is adjusted to all types of equipment. At this stage you can see how the loading of the vehicle as well as the reception of the goods are done. Goods recount is done at the site. The warehouse keeper converts and then hands over the goods to the freight forwarder. And later the goods are shipped to outlets. This equipment is designed for loading and unloading of vehicles. Now here we prepare the boxes for receiving of vegetables. 
boxes have been completely disinfected. They meet all the health standards. This allows storing the vegetables longer. We can store up to 6 million tons of vegetables at the same time in six chambers. Let me introduce you to the chief technologist of vegetable storage, Nadbaev Baghdad. The climate stock has some special areas for storage or perishable goods. A refrigerator, freezer, temporary storage with versatile cameras and vegetable storage zone where there are cameras with gas-regulated environment. They allow keeping the fruits and vegetables for a long time. In our warehouse, there are 25 climate chambers. One of them has five atmosphere-controlled cameras. Here, I will show you the CI5 camera. Here, we keep apples imported from the southern regions of our country. Here, we store cabbages. Every day, we check the temperature of the products. Storage temperature ranges between 0 and 1 degree. Humidity should be at 90 to 95 percent. We work in shifts. The temperature and humidity are checked every three hours. Here are the cabbages. The temperature for cabbages is 0 to 1 degree. Technical service operator keeps a journal where he registers the temperature every three hours. Now we're moving into the next chamber. This is a VEG2 camera where potatoes are stored. This is a VEG2 camera where potatoes are stored. We can store up to 100 tons of potatoes here in the containers. The advantage of this camera, we can store all year round to ensure our supplies, food supplies, for Astana. Our task is to keep the products quality and bring the quality products to the final consumer. Modern technologies greatly simplify all stages of storage and shipment of goods. We can monitor the storage of vegetables 24 hours a day. We can see the humidity, temperature remotely. The storages are fully equipped with surveillance cameras, Wi-Fi that allow obtaining the information. Pickers, storekeepers receive instructions directly from the data collection terminal. Data collection terminal controls the storekeeper's work directly. As I mentioned, data collection terminal is where the storekeeper, picker, receives job instructions and information on what chamber to use, information on specific products with a specific shelf line. Now we can see the camera FRO-1. This camera is for deep freezing at minus 24 degrees. The camera can simultaneously store up to 840 tons. Shelf storage of up to five tiers. Each cell can store up to one ton. Fully automated system. Every camera in every cell has an address, a barcode. A picker who collected the items can scan the barcode and can receive information about the product and its shelf life. The next facility is the so-called dry warehouse. Here, products that do not require complex storage parameters are kept. We start this uh, project it's two and a half year ago, and then uh, one year, a little bit more than one year, it's uh, the construction. Uh, and in one and a half year ago, we started to operate in the climatic warehouse, and one year already in the dry warehouse. So. Uh, I will, I'm going to show you inside it's, uh, how we big. Uh, let's go inside. We are in the dry warehouse. It's, this building is approximately 29,000 square meters. We have approximately 40,000 uh, pallet place. Uh, we have SVH zone and Tamojin zone here. So uh, some offices and uh, locker rooms for the workers. And we have Stalawa here. So actually, this is very important for us, for the employee satisfaction. We are giving them free of charge uh, lunch. Uh, all the shifts they can eat, and then we, have, we are giving them shuttle buses, also free of charge for, from the city to here. Uh, we have some, you know, it's the 
products, it's uh, construction materials, uh, some FMCG products, so fast moving consumer goods, uh, like Coca-Cola, like uh, sugar, like uh, toilets, paper and the other things, it's all, all uh, what you ever think, it's, uh, we can keep in this warehouse it's, uh, if they don't need the climatic warehouse. We have uh, 42,000, as I said before, we have 42,000 pallet place. Our uh, racking system, uh, this is the seven level racking system. The last one is 11 and a half meter, more than 11 and a half meter. You can see the operation now is taking from the sixth level now. Here is the local production sugar, also Astana production. This lighting, it's about, uh, this is with this movement sensor. When you walk, it's uh, lighting, turning off. When it, there is nobody walking, these lamps are switched off. I will show you the, uh, our train access, wagon access. This is approximately 300 meters. We can unload and load uh, 14, 15 wagon at the same time. And you can see the Sarakawaya Stancia. This is approximately 250 meters or 300 meters far from us. Uh, we are very uh, near to the uh, Stancia. And we have our own locomobile. The special focus at the Transport and Logistics Center is given to security and monitoring of the movement of goods. Now I want to show you the, our security system and the communication system. So let's come in. Uh, our security chief. The center tracks all operational processes of the logistics center, such as the shipment of goods, the goods received at the train and bus stations. In addition, this center controls the refrigeration units. There is a computer that controls the temperature and the entire perimeter of the logistics center, from the container terminal to the warehouse complex. Here is, we have some uh, client's offices also. I want to introduce you one more client. Uh, this is Holiday Land. Uh, this is the uh, importer and the uh, wholesaler for the kuritsa and uh, Chicken and meat. Timur? Warehouses are really great. We like the prices too because when we first arrived in Astana over a year ago, we could not find such value for money anywhere else. Container Terminal Logistics Center is located in the open air and covers an area of 8 hectares. Now we are going to do container yard. Let's come on and here is the offices. So now it's uh, the container yard office. So uh, our container yard manager, Ruslan. Why are we here? This container is situated at the terminal. Any movement of the container, we register from here. It offers an overview. So here we have a container terminal. Here, the driveways. On this side, we store container, three branches. This is our equipment with a capacity of 45 tons. Besides the fact that it can unload the container, it unloads cars with different loads. We have our own locomotive that moves the cars on our territory, you can see. The capacity is 600 tons. That is 10 cars that can be moved easily. Here we have a temporary storage area. Here we have the trucks on the right, here we have containers. We conduct a direct unloading here after the post clearance. После таможенной очистки у нас вагон идет на прямую выгрузку. К нам заходят Here we receive trucks of foreign countries. They undergo customs clearance and then leave to Kazakhstan's market. Они у нас растамаживаются, потом уходят 
Several customs control zones are located on the territory of the Transport and Logistics Center. Temporary storage warehouses are designed to import goods subject to customs clearance. I want to introduce our uh, uh, SVH manager, Anwar. So he will show you the, uh, our SVH and the zone. He will give the information about our three different places as far in, the, in this territory. Our company provides services of temporary storage warehouses. These are specialized warehouses where goods are located which are subject to customs clearance. Here you can see vehicles with various plates from different regions. Some from Belarus, some from Lithuania and some are local. Lots of cargo arrives for the expo. This mainly concerns the building materials. Goods which come to us from abroad that are imported in Kazakhstan are first placed in temporary storage warehouses. Customs clearance is now carried out within one working day. The goods go through all the necessary procedures here. Although we have opened relatively recently, but we can say that with confidence that we are warehouse number one in Astana according to our size and the technical equipment. And in the future, we think that the entire volume of incoming goods will pass through our transport and logistics center. Innovative technologies are used in the Transport and Logistics Center, in particular a warehouse information management system that monitors all the processes online. I want to show you our system about our technology, what we are making. This is our system room. Uh, Sayad is our uh, system supervisor. Uh, so uh, what about our system? We, have, we are using the WMS system. What we can do, uh, our processes is very well uh, organized processes for inbound, outbound storage, uh, traceability for the uh, date and expiry dates and load traceability. So uh, we try to make the uh, really, uh, let's say, very less human factor. We also have a web portal, which is convenient for customers who want to see their online application and balances in our warehouse. In the immediate vicinity of the warehouse, there is a large supermarket. It is very convenient as it saves time on delivery of the goods, which immediately hit the store shelves. We are now entering into the first section of our supermarkets, a zone of acceptance of goods. It is clear that the provision of logistics, providing the range of more than 25,000 items, is a very important part in any supermarket. Supply of such mass range of products without clear logistics is practically impossible. This year we introduced a new project, a social project titled CARE. This project is designed for seniors and veterans to provide them with the most optimal prices. We understand the importance of such projects and together with the Fund for Development of Social Projects, Samrut Kazina Trust, we are planning a number of new projects for next year. Transport and Logistics Center in Astana is successfully coping with the flow of goods which are constantly coming to the Kazakh capital. The center is integrated into the national structure of logistics, which is developing at an accelerated pace. The company's management is planning to build several more logistics centers with modern infrastructure, warehouse terminals and production facilities in Aktobe, Pavlodar, Almaty and Horgos. We finished today. What I wanted to say, the last uh, we try to make the best to, for our clients and we try to give the best service. Uh, we try to decrease their uh, logistics cost. So, and then we, we try to make the fast for them. And uh, because of that, we are trying to make it, we are trying to understand their necessities, needs, and then we are trying to make them tailor-made uh, processes. And we are fully integrated with them. Uh, communicating with them, we do it with portal and the system and the, all over the ways. So uh, that's our warehouse. We are 
aim is the trying to give the best logistic warehousing service to them. Thank you. Thank you.